it's really odd. I mean, they act like I'm not even here. It's like very weird, very weird. advice for me how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you have advice? No advice? What does it mean to remain loyal to Jehovah? Oh, no interviews right now. But, yeah. oh, but I just really would like to know. What, what's one negative advice you have? To I would remain? say listen to the program. It's awesome. Listen to the program. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do you have advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? I guess not. Do you have advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? You have advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah. I'm trying to. Trying to. Thank you. Do you have advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? One negative advice? No? Do you have any advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? Any advice? For me? No. No advice. Do you have any advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? Any advice for me how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? Do you have any advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? No, no advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah. Do you guys have a negative truth how to remain loyal to Jehovah? How do I remain loyal to Jehovah? Remain loyal to Jehovah. How, how can you remain loyal to Jehovah? Do you have any advice for me? Do you have advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? Any advice how I can remain loyal to him? Do you have advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? Do you have any advice how you can remain loyal to Jehovah? They act like I don't even exist. It's just incredible because I can go to any event around San Diego and bring a sign, uh, bring the message of truth, talk to people about what they believe happens after they die, what they believe about reality, about truth, about God, and yet this is the only event that I go to where not the vast majority, 99.9% .9 act like you're not there. Here's some, here's some folks over here. Maybe they can help us out how we can remain loyal to Jehovah. I mean, Armageddon can come at any time. It is eminent, and I need to know how I can remain loyal to Jehovah. Good morning! Good morning! How, how do you loyal to Jehovah. What negative advice? How you personally? No? No advice for me? How I can remain loyal to Jehovah? Advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? Okay. I'm not there. Do you have any advice how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? No advice. No advice. I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. So I've never been baptized as a Jehovah's Witness, so I'm not an apostate. I've never accepted the teachings and rejected them. That's the definition of apostate, so I'm not that. Hey, do you guys have any advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? Any advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? Barbara! Hey! Want negative advice? But Armageddon can come, and I need to know how to remain loyal to Jehovah. Now, Armageddon has been eminent for, what, 130 years? If you're a Jehovah's watching this, Jehovah's Witness watching this, uh, I think you need to rethink what is happening here because this is a sign of being in a high control group where they control your behavior, they instill fear in you to where you do not talk to someone with an opposing view. Now, if you cannot say go on the internet and look at opposing views without getting in trouble, then there's something wrong, right? If they can't take literature that opposes their view, that's a sign of being in a high control group. That's a sign of being in a cult. And that's an emotionally charged word. People don't like that word, but that is a sign of it. That is one, they control your behavior. They instill fear in you. And we're really here today for the youth. You know, this whole weekend has been about the youth because the youth are, is who looks at the science the most, who reads it, who will, acknowledge me somewhat. Um, a young girl earlier this morning 
I asked a group, can you say good morning to me? Can you acknowledge me? And they all acted like I wasn't there, but the one girl, probably her teens, looked at me and said good morning. So I was like, there's hope for you. And so we live in a time where the internet is available. And despite what they do, these people can find truth on their tablet, on their cell phone. It's very easy. And so that is a hope for those trapped in this cult. That is a, a hope that I am really like, yes, thank you God for technology today that I can just whip out my iPhone and put in FortJehovah.org, put in JW Facts, uh, Silent Lambs, and come across lots of information. So we're going to see if anybody else would like to give us any points of help. How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? Does anybody have any advice for me how I can remain loyal to Jehovah? They're hurting them? Hurting them the other way? Good morning! Do you have any advice how to remain loyal to Jehovah? Do you have any advice for me? How I can remain loyal to Jehovah. Maybe you can speak a moment about what is more important, love or truth? Love and truth are not mutually exclusive. It's love that motivates us to come out here and to tell them the truth. Paul said that it is uh, the love of God, the love of Christ that motivates me to preach the message of reconciliation. And so some object and say, oh, this is not loving, but true love warns, true love pleads, true love intercedes, true love presents and does what they can to um, save somebody from destruction. And that is what we're trying to do today. You cannot have truth without love. You cannot have truth without love. And you cannot have love without truth. And it seems like wherever I go around San Diego, wherever I go um, and try to talk to people, um, with a more confrontational approach, there is an objection, and that subjection is always concerned with love, that I'm not being loving. And so in our, in our society today, love is like this emotionally feel-good cloud that comes upon you, if it feels good, then it's loving. And that's not true love. You know, the Bible describes love, 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not self-seeking, easily anger, and it keeps no records of wrong, and it always delights in the truth. Maybe it's the question. Maybe we gotta we gotta need a different question here. I'm gonna ask how can I survive Armageddon? How can I survive Armageddon? Can you help me out? How, how can I survive Armageddon? Do we have any um, pointers I wanna be able to survive Armageddon? Good morning. Good morning. How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? Come in there, okay. Okay. Armageddon can come while we're in there, though, so I need a negative advice. It's something to help me out, because... How do you remain loyal to Jehovah? Yeah. 